Okay, one of the big advantages and to us getting to close the greenhouse early this year, it was we got up here and I got my garden planted earlier than I've ever planted it in the last 20 years. Normally, I wouldn't even have it in yet and we've already got it in for a week. Uh, my first corn that I planted a week ago, as you'll see, it's all germinated and it's coming up. I got three rows of corn in here. This is probably going to be the three rows that we'll do most of our uh, canning out of. We always uh, freeze our corn for the winter. Now these three rows of corn here, I'm experimenting this year, something I've been all wanting to do for a long time but never had the time to do it. I actually planted three or four kernels of corn into a pot, germinated them, and then a few days ago I brought them up and transplanted them into three different rows here. Now when I was a kid, my dad planted all of our corn into what we called a hill. It was three or four kernels in a hill. Since then, I've went to planting it in a row and I spaced my seeds out uh, four inches apart down the row. And this year I'm gonna experiment and to see if I do I get more corn, better ears out of this or better ears out of the row. Now, when we planted this a week ago, we, these, the cabbage was all very small plants and in the past I've had trouble with birds coming in and clipping them off. So now what I do, I go along the edge of a garden and either cut weeds or this year I cut branches off of a tree. And all you got to do is stick something in that will kind of disguise it and hide that so the birds will leave it alone. And uh, now the plants have already gotten rooted in, they're growing good. We can probably start taking these off and I'll show you I did take some of them out today and started mulching. Now our tomatoes, we planted them a week ago and I've done some of my first ties on them. The first tie is very simple. It just wants to keep the plant upright because once it lays down, it's hard to get it going back up. So the, I use ba old bell and twine. It's cheap and I use a, a, lot, a lot of different things here on the farm. These stakes, I bought these stakes 40 years ago for my dad. They've, I've been using them ever since. So if you invest in good metal stakes, they'll last forever. Or you can just make wooden stakes that'll last a year or two. Now these stakes here, this little bit of twine left on them, that was from my dad's last garden. I never cut the twine off of a few of them. He actually tied the last year with some uh, nylon bale and twine. I use the old hemp varieties. And the, the first tie is just very simple. The next tie or the third or fourth tie will be a little more work. But we just do that to keep them going upright. Now you'll see we put cans on the top, or old bottles. That's a deterrent for birds sitting on top of our steaks and making a mess on our tomatoes. So we, we do a little, and then sometimes when the wind blows, the noise will even scare some of the birds away. So that's a little bit of a bird deterrent. Now, this time of year, I love, our, our grass grows a little taller than we like just simply because I don't have time to mow, but I always try to get enough grass clippings to do some mulching. Now, right now, I just, with, this is some of our cabbage. I went ahead and I'm gonna mulch my cabbage, which is a good thing to do. It holds in the moisture, it furs the weeds. Sometimes we'll put newspaper underneath some of our mulch, which also keeps the weeds from growing. Now I'm not gonna mulch my tomatoes and peppers yet. I wanna wait a couple more weeks till the ground is very warm because the mulch will keep the ground cool. Cabbage likes cool ground so I can mulch the cabbage. But I'm gonna wait here in another week or two before I do my tomatoes. And at the end of our garden here, is a row of beans. I put in a pretty good row. If it works, we'll can out of this group. My next two plantings of beans will be short rows just for eating. I'll do three more plantings down this row. So for now, this is our big garden where we grow most of our stuff. We also have three other gardens that we grow stuff in. Maybe next week I'll show you some of those gardens. So until the next time, enjoy your garden.